Good evening, good morning, or good midday, everyone. Today we were gonna be doing a little unboxing, and today it's about a traveler's journal or a traveler's notebook. I've never had any of these, so I can't wait to try them out. And I wanted to do these first impressions with you. If you hear the creaking sound, that's basically my chair making a noise. So do not be scared. That's just my chair. I got a little exacto knife right here. So we take the time to carefully cut open the package. As you can see, I censored my name on the front here. So uh, yeah, it's just all nice and not included. There we go. Of course, if you see it here. Oh, we got a little note. Let me read it for you or translate. Hello, Zoe. Thank you for your uh, order and your support. Here, um, uh, it's, uh, I do not know what this word means. Uh, a new traveler's notebook or uh, to decorate. Uh, lots of fun and... Uh, and... <laughs> I will translate it here. I will put it there so you can read it. <laughs> But we got whole, uh, help by Daisy Day. And this is a little note from Café Analog. So you can see this is a little package. Uh, this uh, store is located here in the Netherlands. So it's actually very uh, close by for me. Didn't have to pay a lot for shipping. So that's quite easy to know. Um, what I brought was basically a traveler's notebook. Extra grid paper notebook, and I see that they've included some goodies. Uh, I didn't order this, I think this is just for the holidays. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Hope you like it. So, we will check this out in a little bit. I love this little stand, it's so pretty, it's really stunning. And this is the notebook itself. Oh, oh, the pen, I forgot the pen. <laughs> Sorry if you hear me being snotty all the time, that's just me. <laughs> That's just me. I'm sorry about it. But I also bought a platinum preppy. I've been really into fountain pens lately. And I really wanted to try this out. So that's why I got it. And I really like demonstrator pens. I, I figured it out. Um, if you don't know what a demonstrator pen means. It's basically uh, a pen that you can see the inside. So you can basically see that this is see-through. Uh, another demonstrator pen that I have is this one. This is a Yin Hao pen. Uh, yeah, you can basically see the inside and I like the clear ones because if I have a fancy little ink in here You can see it very clearly. So let me put that to the side and then for the big page. Oh, there's more in here Okay <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, so this is the traveler's journal. Uh, let me just take this first. This is an English thing Let me put this away box away This is just a traveler's inspiration booklet i think and it's in english so that's very nice to look through and maybe get some uh, pictures as well uh what i said before i already tried a traveler's notebook like journal uh what that means is that i not tried the one from this brand specifically i just bought a cheaper one uh out of an online shop so this is very fun to just look at and read later but it's very nice that they included it i didn't um expect that uh, I got the camel color before I had some different colors and I never really tried anything else. But now I was like, okay, let me try the camel a more neutral color. And I've seen that the wear on this one will be very pretty if you have it for a little longer. Okay, here, unboxing time. Also, let me just put it away. <laughs> oh! Very well protected, as you can see. Um, leather cover color is camel. You can see uh, we get a pouch. We get the leather cover. We get a blank refill. And a spare rubber band. So an extra rubber band if this will get too loose. Uh, there is another plastic thing to hold it together. So we take that away. Mm, I can basically stick this in later. Um, sorry for the snotty. <laughs> For all the travelers who have a free spirit. Okay, let's open it. I'll take this off very carefully. I have like a little pile of whatever. 
Um, I do not know. I feel like this is the spare strap. And here's the moment of truth. It's very carefully presented, as you can see with a box that it's uh, just basically... Oh, we got a green! <gasps> green! I'm very happy with this. I didn't know if that this would be the random or something else. But this is very nice. Um, um, if you want to read it. There you go. Basically saying, hey, it will get scratches. It will get an uneven. But that's also part of the charm. But put that away. I think I... Is this another one? Or is it like, oh, you can also put it back. I will not put it back in this box, by the way. I will just do something else with the cardboard. Because for me, it has no use. Uh, it's a simple cotton or a, a bag. You can save it in here if you want to. I personally do not, do not mind what I do with it. <laughs> just do whatever. I believe this is the bag. Look! Look! Wow! Here it says... Uh, Travelers Company, Japan, made in Thailand. Uh, this is the feel. It feels very soft, very velvety. Doesn't smell unpleasant. Doesn't smell very heavily of... Uh, oh, it's so uh, tight. Whoa! Whoa! This is new! Whoa, the ones that I have weren't connected to here. So this is for me a new experience. Let me show you like a, a different one that I have. Real quick. Okay, this is like... Uh, a different one that I own. Um, I've had what I've once with Zoibu on here. Uh, this is like a different version, but it has a hole right here. And I thought it would be the same because I thought this was so genius to have the hole right here. But this one, oh, this is a very new, exciting, exciting. And this one is also a different size. Yeah, remember doing this more, whatever stuff. Oh, and then I made my own insert with rainbow colors. No, I didn't use this much. I, I like the, the smaller version or the slimmer version better. And you can also see this has a little protective thing. So maybe I will make it or steal it from this one. <laughs> I don't know yet. But I didn't notice that. I didn't know that was there. Funny. Oh, we will see what this is about. We will open it up. Uh, what you can do, you can also stamp the side. You can basically do whatever here um, if you want to. I'm not going to do it. I will just leave it like this. Uh, it says Traveler's Notebook. There is a little spot there. So you know it's the quote-unquote real one. It has quite white paper. If you compare the first page to this page, you can see it's, the paper is a lot wider. And it has, you can see it has an elastic right here. And it has another elastic right here. I basically mean you can add two of them, I believe. I believe that's the, 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 the gist of it you can see this one is lower hmm. I'm just intrigued I didn't know the design would be like this should have looked at it more uh, but what you can do because that's why I bought this <laughs> take this away for a little bit uh, what you can do it has MD paper it's the same kind of uh, thing it's also called a refill they always give you a blank uh, paper I think that's very nice if you just go traveling and you like to doodle, you like to do art. You can add that, but if you just want to write, I feel like a grid would be more useful. This is what the grid looks like. Uh, again, very white. Or is it cream? Hmm. Maybe it's slightly cream colored. But this is what looks like just normal grid. And then I believe you can just use this elastic to insert this one. Uh, they usually put it in the middle. So I'm going to try if that works. Okay, but this is weird. Do you see that? Okay. There we go. And then you have two booklets, booklets in there. I do not know. You can put st stuff there. This is one of the same. Yes. Whoa. Ah, you can, you can see... This is the difference in color. <laughs> but let's look at uh, the other goodies, the goodies that we got. So this is the excess piece. So this is the excess band that you see. And it's basically one extra to change this one with, I believe. This one, if this one breaks. But I also have this one right here. So I don't know... 
which one they mean. Maybe this is the one that is for this one. And then maybe this one is for the in here. I hope I did it correctly with this thing. I should have looked that up. I, I, I guess it would work. And we also have a little uh, bookmark, bookmark in there. But this seems like to wor uh, work pretty well, so we'll just leave it like this. Uh, let's look at all the goodies that we got. These were free. I did not order these. Um, I think it might be like uh, it will come with every order. Let me open it very carefully. And see what we got. Mm. Quite a few things. Oh no, no, oh, it's stuck. There we go. Just some random cards. Uh, card from an artist, I think. Grimgun illustrations. <laughs> we got a lady. Um, just random book thingies. Wow. Some Just some stickers that you can use if you want to. This is a nice border. You can write something down on. I like this one. And this is pretty. This is a watercolor-like paper. With a texture. And some other little thingies that you can use for something if you want to. I'm wondering how much of these packages they need, they need to make. Or if they just grab whatever at random. Or maybe they just have different little packets where they pick stuff from. Because do not forget, people need to actually put this together. Uh, for people that don't know, I actually have an Etsy shop. I sell watercolors. And I also add goodies. So I'm like, okay, there is someone who made like a ton of these. And then every so now and then you need to refill them. So <laughs> I thought about that. Uh, for the preppy itself. Uh, it looks like this. It has a screw on cap. Or a screw. No. Huh? Ah, no, it doesn't have a screw on cap. I take that back. Um, it says 03. Like that. Also says where it's from. Made for in Japan. Also comes with a refill. But I feel like a converter will also fit in here. Oh, this one has a little ball. So you can... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like this will be quite an easy pen to use. I don't use a lot of dark colors, so I'm try. Uh, maybe I will try to use different ink with this. But for now, um, I will believe that the the, the pen works. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I will just get a different ink and we will write something. I will just dip it in and we will try it that way. Uh, oh, this is just a uh, cap like that. I think it is a very pretty notebook. I already did. I, I already made a mark. That's <laughs> look, <laughs> look at that mark. Uh, but yeah, this is a notebook for wear and tear. Basically, you can use it however you want. I didn't know this was a thing, so I'm actually intrigued by that. Maybe I just never paid attention in videos that you saw that they did that. But here they are. Yeah, uh, I feel like the paper will be really great quality. And that's just very nice to see. I uh, oh, they both have that. I wanted to add that little circle somewhere, but now it's not really necessary. Uh, for the next part, you will basically see me draw and doodle. But this was my little expl explanation. I will come back at the end for a little talk. Okay. See you soon. Ooh.
I wanted to show you guys what I've made. Um, basically a little sketch page with a little bit of writing. Um, basically what I would do if I would use it for real. Or if I would use it uh, just normal things. Maybe I would stick a bit more. That's why you saw me kind of picking stuff up. Uh, but I don't have a glue stick. So <laughs> I was like okay I might do that later. This will also be fun to use. Um, what I've used are quite a few things. What you see here and there. Those are ball points. These are Inkjoy Paper Mate uh, ink pens. I will link them all in the description if I do not forget. So you can kind of read them again. Uh, I like these a lot. Don't smudge as quickly. And then we have a Kaweco Sports Special Edition Army Green color. Uh, with a normal converter, just a normal blue ink that came with the pen. Normally I would use a uh, different ink. But for this one, I did not. Uh, then we have the Yin Hao pen. I used Indian... Uh, let me check, I have them right here. I used Indian... Orange Indian from Har J Herbin. J <laughs> Okay, little preview for what will be do, what we will be doing in the future. But I bought two of these sets. Basically, I did this from Jacques Heba. Oh my, doesn't matter. Just this one. <laughs> Maybe next time I will just show it off. And in this pen, um, this is a Lamy study pen, usually used by kids. I think they write wonderfully. I have this one, and then I also still have the one for my youth. Maybe fun to compare that it still holds up, even though I had this since childhood. So this is already quite old. But yeah, try the new one. Like it. Very sturdy. Also not that, that, that expensive. This is, la this is like 10 euros cheaper for the basic Lamy works. Uh, and for that one, I used the Violet Parfum. This has a very strong scent. Especially when I open this, so it will not be your very, very first impression, but when I open this the next time, you will basically hear my reaction how they write. Uh, but I tried this one. Uh, what I already wrote here is that it is uh, feathering a little bit, but this paper holds up very well, so I do not see a lot of it. It's just a little bit, but it does not disrupt uh, the writing experience. It's just, if you're sensitive to sm smells, maybe wait a little bit. Or just don't get the violet one. Because that one is really intense. Even though I'm a little snotty today. I could still uh, smell it very clearly. I do not know for how long the smell held, holds up. So that will be fun. But I basically bought this set. So I didn't have to commit to a whole bottle. If I didn't like it. So I tried this set. See if I like the colors. Or if there's anyone that uh, anything that I really like. So I can keep on using it. For this one, I bought, uh, I was like, okay, I like the scented one, but I like these colors more. These, uh, This is like a brown, this is the autumn ink set, but more info about this soon. But I used this one, the orange. And when I wrote down for the first time in my other journal or a different booklet, I was like, oh, this is kind, kind of light. So that was intriguing to me. So I'm now uh, waiting for new ink, and this will be a more darker autumn -y ink. I believe I bought... <laughs> oak, something oak from uh, Diamine. So interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, so a Lamy pen. This is a Jin Hao pen, um, demonstrator pen. What I talked about before. Did not try the new pen, but that's okay. Uh, then a random marker. I have a lot of random markers, but <laughs> random marker there. And then I also had the soft color dot. This is not the original. Uh, because that's this one, so but like the the weird, uh, less expensive one. So it's not the Zig one, but an, a different brand. But I have two Zig ones because I was like, let's go make dots. Didn't make a lot of dots, by the way, but they're very fun to use and to sketch with. Um, yeah, I make sketches like this, as you can see. Can't wait to show more, but that will be for another day. Uh, the last thing I want to show you were these uh, Lyra pants. Or pencils. I like these a lot. Don't have a lot of them, but I like them a lot. So, my first impressions is... Very sturdy. Well, I was surprised by the elastic on the back. Uh, this will weather and this uh, color over time. This color is not the right word. But it basically will absorb your oils from your hands. It will get uh, little lines 
whatever uh, because of use. And I think it will be prettier if you can see all those little details. Um, uh, I will put the price on the screen, or maybe that was already in the beginning, maybe it will be at the end, for how much this costed me and how much the refills were here in the Netherlands. I bought this, uh, so you got the booklet, this booklet and the cover together, and then I bought a refill as well. I think it is a very stunning piece. I like that it has a small embossed part of the Traveler's Notebook itself. And I think it just looks very pretty. Why did I bought, uh, buy such a neutral color? Because I already had this size in a green one. And I was like, okay, let's try a more neutral one. And maybe I can add a lot of charms. And make it a little less uh, intense. Or maybe I can hang something here. I do like a lot of charms. But yeah, for, this, for now, this will be <laughs> what I made. So yeah, let's... Okay, I need to get used to that it's on the back. I think it doesn't really matter if you go up or you go down. But this is what it looks like closed. This is the front. Then this is the middle with two books. Looks like this. And then this is the back. So you can see that the, the closure is here. Uh, we got a re... Um, you got an extra elastic. And I also got a green elastic. I believe then the green elastic will be for the inside. But if you really want to know, just check it out <laughs> for yourself. Or maybe I will write it in the description. I do not know. I hope you like this video. Hope this uh, maybe this might weird thought. Maybe it will help you make a decision. I think it's very pretty. Uh, you can also decorate the covers here. You can also add a bunch of other things. It can get really bulky. So I like that as well. It will really work with you, and it will not work against you. And I really like that you can, if you fill one uh, like the insert that I showed you guys before. So basically, I will first finish this one, and then I will and continue to this one. I do not mind using other products that are not on brand, because usually these are less expensive. And I feel like you can also do that. But for now, I, um, I want to discover and I want to try it. Maybe in the future I will show it how it looks after a year or so. Don't know yet. But for now, I can't wait to put it in my bag, take it with me, and when I go and do fun things... To just take it with me. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you like this little final part of me flipping through. I had fun making this video. It's been a while since I made some traditional footage and not a speed paint or anything. And it was nice to just test out this MD paper as well. I can't wait to make more things. Maybe in these sketchbooks or maybe in other little booklets. But we will see in the future how that will pan out. Don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments and a like will also really help out. Thanks so much for watching once again. Until another time, have a most lovely rest of your day. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.